How's it going guys? This is Jace with 1-800-POCKET-PC.COM and continuing our, once again, our series of Windows Phone 7.5 uh, videos here. Um, we're going to take a look at the Games Hub. Now, uh, obviously you're seeing quite a huge difference from what you're used to seeing. Um, as a green background, or a white background instead of the green background, excuse me. And um, you're obviously seeing that this has changed just a little bit more on that in just a moment. But let's take a look at the overall Games Hub. If we swipe off right here, you can see uh, this is the portion that's available for my avatar. It's very animated. I can, I can touch him. They can do different things. And let's see, if he's not in the middle of something, I can shake it. You can see sometimes he'll start dancing. If I shake it other times, um, you know, he'll get dizzy and uh, he'll fall over. So shaking it provides uh, different results. Let's see if we can, there we go, it gets dizzy and falls over. So, you know, when you shake it, it, it has a couple of different things right in here. But um, some of the cool things, if I hit the profile, I can jump right in here and I can take a look about my Xbox Live profile. You can see I can refresh it and I can edit my profile st straight in the Games Hub. So I like that. Um, swiping to the side, I can go straight to my achievements. Um, see the kind of achievements that I have. If I scroll off again, I can. I like that. I can look at my messages now. I can. I can message. I can reply. Um, very very cool. That way I can start a new message <clears throat> right in here. So um, I really like the um, the integration with Xbox Live um, in the game sub. So that's really cool. Swiping to the right here again. If I had any new friend requests, I obviously those would show up right in here. Swiping again. Now this is something that you should be very familiar with if you're an Xbox Live user. Um, some of the new hotter apps right in here. The deal of the week. The game of the week. Um, the newest game of the week, which we see this week was Birds and Beaks. And, um, you know, just a couple of different um, kind of marketplace highlights um, that, uh, that you can browse through right in there. So really cool. If we swipe off once again, we get back to our list of games. Now, one of the things that I think is the best part about this is really it, it felt like with the large icons before that it took up a lot of space and it took a long time to scroll down to the bottom of my list of games. But with the smaller icons, the list view, um, the titles of the games are a little bit easier to see and you can jump from the top to the bottom of the list a lot easier than it was before. Now the other uh, little UI improvement that I like is this recently used, um, recently played games. So if I drop down in here and I want to load, let's say, blocks for example, um, we'll just jump, hit the back button right in here. But if I load blocks for example, I go back up to the top and boom, you're seeing it's showing up in my recently played games. And you know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I download a game and I start to get into it, it kind of comes in waves. I, I kind of get addicted to a game once in a while, and um, that's what I that's what I play, you know, pretty frequently for a period of time. And I like that we have this little um, this recently played stuff right in here. So um, again, you know, quite a few improvements right in here. If I swipe up, I can have it refresh. And, you know, I can change a couple of Games Hub settings right in here, something that we didn't have before. So overall, you know, um, it's not drastically different. A little bit of extra features with Xbox Live, um, some more detailed stuff. It seems most of it, um, most of our improvements have happened, you know, just via Xbox Live. So, um, you know, updated Games Hub, really awesome, a lot more integration. And, of course, check out our next... Um, in the next series or next in the series of Windows Phone Mango videos um, in the coming couple days or weeks, and we'll see you guys.